today we're going to have a lot more fun with it yesterday fitting the toilet. Today we're going to fit a rather splendid chrome towel radiator um, which we purchased from a, a reputable online dealer, Victoria Plum. And this is a tube on tube 750 by 600 chrome heated towel radiator. We're going to have lots of fun. It's going to be absolutely wicked. I've already sorted out the pipe work in the bathroom. Hopefully that's going to be alright. I don't need to bloody pull the floor up or anything. So we've got some instructions. Tells you what's on there. Blah de blah de blah. Tells you what you have to do. So we're going to start going through everything now and um, getting it all sorted really. We need to get some PGFA tape on these bad boys here. So we need this one and it needs to be down in a particular way. So just putting some PGFE tape on there. It's already got a little lens um, rubber in it, but obviously because you're going metal on metal. Take my bloody glasses off and I can't actually see what I'm doing. So yeah, you need a little bit of tension on here. So just bang some on there. That needs to go in the same way as it screws in. Is that the right way? Yes it is. Now that should be more than sufficient. Now I need to make sure I get the thread, don't cross thread it, because that's really seriously. There we go, and that looks good. Just hand tighten it first of all. And that's nice and that's tightened up nicely. Obviously that PTFE is doing its job, so I need to get a spanner on that and uh, just tighten it up. Just protects it a bit, doesn't it, Tina? Yeah. It's getting quite nice and tight. Okay. There's so little meat on it here, it's easy to slip off and so on. Sure. Show. I don't think we need to do that anymore, Tina. See the PGFE is on there, look, that creates a watertight seal. So, this one also goes in a clockwise direction. There we go. In fact, I've actually put any on in the wrong direction. I'll put it on as the wrong way. Not bad. Don't mind the delta. It's stayed on there beautifully. So, this looks like it's got a bit more meat on it. To tighten it up. Now, that's as much as we need to go, I think. And with any luck, that should keep it lovely and watertight. These are the, uh, these bits here, look. Go on there, I think. I've never done this before, but I'm sure they go on there somewhere. So I think what we need to do with these is, I think these need to come off, and these bad boys basically take the place, and these go in the bottom of the radiator. Probably about as far as we need to go, really. Still going a little way. I think that's about it. So we're just getting ready to drill, but before I do that, we just need to make sure we cover up these uh, these bits here. plugs. Right, 
they got those bad boys all covered with that. I don't know what will. So, with any luck, I'm assuming that that goes inside of there so I don't break it. I would think it goes something like that. So, no, this is, the best, this is the best tool for the job. Yeah, I'll do. So, what we'll do is bang that bad boy in there. And the next one. So, now, so I haven't got it. Yeah, so that'll go like that, won't it? So, that'll go in there like that. We get the little screw to tighten it to make sure it comes out the right distance. That goes on top like that, and then the radiator goes up against it, at which point that goes in like that and clenches the um, the pipe. Now yeah, we'll need these. One down here if we can get this one on. That goes there. And we need another one to go here. And at this stage we haven't, um, uh, yeah, okay, so it needs to go something like that. So, that looks as if that's fitting in place very nice. So what we need to do now, these go in here, like that. Just need to tighten those, so it goes in there. And then you look, it goes in there, like so. up but I don't think we need to do much more there to be honest with it. Right, that's done. All that's left now is to just open the valves. I hope to goodness water doesn't piss up right over there. Right. Oh. So let's open those fully and pray. I'm to the radiator god. Yeah, I'm to the radiator god, absolutely. Let's pull that round here, like so. And with any luck, that's got a bit of plaster or something on it. Can you hear the air coming out? Yes. So we want the water to come out. Sounds like me after a curry, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> so when the water comes out, we know the radiator is full. A good job well done, if I say so myself. Fantastic. We've got the, um, just as a final thought, actually, we've got the, uh, we've got the spirit level on here. And as you can see, that's pretty darn good. That's not bad, is it?